The next speaker is the Americans for Democracy and Human Rights in Bahrain. Madam President, what takes place in the United States in the form of systematic racism, bruta police brutality, violence against peaceful protesters, and attacks on the free press must be condemned in the strongest possible terms. However, these same issues are frequent occurrences in many countries that are unfortunately members of the Human Rights Council, like Bahrain. In Bahrain, peaceful protests are not only attacked, but citizens who take part in this protest are arrested, tortured, and sentenced to excessive imprisonment. Police brutality is a common term for the people of Bahrain, as the Al Khalifa government contracts the job of policing to foreign mercenaries. In the government, there is clear racial discrimination against Afro-Bahrainis who are excluded from high-level positions and are barred from decision-making roles like ministers and ambassadors. There is also the disturbing practice in the palace of King Al-Khalifa and his royal court to only employ Afro-Bahrainis in positions of servitude. The custom of having black servants as symbols of high stature still exists in the ruling class of Bahrain. Furthermore, it is inexcusable that American and other Western ambassadors to Bahrain that attend meetings in the King's Palace see these practices without raising concern. I ask the Council, what does this say about this country's commitment to racial justice? I thank you, Madam President.